Time's 19 minutes past eight now, and it is a problem uh, we're going to be talking about now that we've highlighted on the show in the past. But, strange as it may seem, dog napping has become Britain's fastest growing crime, and uh, some recent victims of that crime join me now. You'll recognise one of the faces. That's Brucey there, Bruce Forsyth, and his lovely daughter, Debbie. And, and we can understand why you're not smiling this morning, Bruce, because Debbie's very upset, isn't she? Tell us exactly what's happened. Well, first of all, Fiona, thank you for doing this and, and all your team. It means a lot to us that you're sort of helping in, in this way. It's, um, it's been such a shock, you know. They, they, you know, dogs do become a part of your family. I you know a lot of people may say, there are only a couple of dogs. They are a part of Debbie's family, as our dogs have always been. And, and so it's a terrific shock. It's a wrench. You, you feel numb. You feel helpless because you can't... Well, you feel as though you can't do anything. But Debbie's done an awful lot. Yeah, De Debbie, just take us. We're yeah, talking I mean, about Widget and Gizmo. They're seven years old. They're Yorkies. Yeah. T yeah. Tell us what happened, Debbie. Yeah. Um, well, I got back to my car after shopping in Marks and Spencers in Camberley, and the car driver's side window had been smashed in and the two dogs taken. Um, they just had their hair cut. So they could look like mummy and baby, although they're two boys that are seven-year-old and they're neutered. Um, maybe they were taken for breeding, but we're hoping that because they're neutered, that maybe someone has just sold them on quickly, maybe someone's seen a new dog in the area, anything, any information we can get out at the moment is vital. I know, it must be so awful for you, and, and thinking of them on their own and not knowing where they are. Now, this happened last yeah, year. because they may not be together. No, oh, well, don't, it's, it, that doesn't bear thinking of, does it really, Debbie? But this happened last Tuesday. No, no. The second of May. Last Tuesday. Yeah, so someone must have seen yes, someone smash that car as well and, 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 and take the dogs they out. They must have I mean... heard the glass. Yeah. But... Sorry, they must have heard the glass and they must have heard the dogs barking. They're little paw prints around the car where they were barking at the window. You can see they were going mad in the car, so they must, somebody must have heard them. And Debbie... It's such a busy area as well. It's such a very, very busy area where they were taken from. And... Uh, if somebody has seen something, please get in touch. We'd yeah, well, we, love you to do well, that. Well, Bruce, you went to the rescue, didn't you? Because uh, Debbie phoned you, I gather, and she was so upset. You, yes, well, luckily, luckily I was near. I was near um, uh, Camberley, and uh, my other daughter, one of my other daughters, phoned me and said what had happened. And this was a shock to me. It was like, <laughs> it was like losing, losing somebody, you know. Um, so I got in the car and went straight there because uh, Debbie was in such a state when I arrived and uh, got her home here and then later on we went to get her car. But everybody in the area, in fact, um, Debbie has put posters, these posters, she put these posters up covering a radius of I don't know how many miles. She's got through how many posters? About 7,000 posters we've got out and members of the public have been putting them up in their vets, telling their postmen anything we can think of at the moment people have been fantastic trying to help us and someone must have seen it debbie as bruce says it's a busy area they had red collars on didn't they very distinctive red bandana collars and and, and as i said before they just had their hair cut so they they stand oh. out they will do for the next month they've got very short hair on their backs with fluffy legs one's got flat ears with a bob and one looks like a typical yorkie who barks like mad. I hope he's driving people mad. I mean, he draws attention to yes, himself, the little one. He's, he's the got, extrovert. He's, he thinks he's a rockweiler. So, well, well, um, well let's know, hope he's turned into that's... one for the people who've taken him. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Debbie, I, I know... And he microchipped. He is microchipped, is he, Bruce? Yes, both of them are. Yeah. Right, OK. Um, and just a warning to anybody else, you know, don't leave your dogs in a car because uh, Debbie had the alarm on, but well, you can't have the alarm on if there's anything in the car that moves. Mm. And I think car manufacturers should take this into consideration as well, because a lot of people leave their dogs in a car for a few minutes, but be careful, everybody who's got dogs, don't leave them in a the car for any length of time unless somebody is looking or watching them or looking after them. 
And you know, yeah, I really mean that. It's, it's very dangerous. No, that's very good advice. And I know what you mean about the alarm. You, you've got the alarm, but as you say, if there's anything moving in the car, you can't enable it anyway, otherwise it goes off. Yes. Um, I think anyone who's, who's ever had dogs who, who, or who has dogs, Debbie, will know what you're going yes. through because it is like losing a member yes. of the family, really. Um, and yes. you've heard yes. nothing so far, no? There's been a few leads that we're trying to follow up people have seen a couple of dogs in a park in fleet pond that we're trying to follow up um and public the public are starting to phone in with with obviously support for us but it's just word of mouth at the moment anyone you can tell if you've seen a new dog let us know about it please well, while you've been speaking there, Debbie, we've had the number up, we've had the pictures up, we've had the website up, so let's oh, hope someone ha has thank seen you. them. And, thank and, you. and all I can say is all the best. It's so lovely to see you, Bruce, there in your back garden. And I'm sorry um, that we're meeting you in such unfortunate circumstances, Debbie, but let's hope it all works out. Okay. Uh, our hearts well, are with you, you because, as I say, animal lovers will know exactly how you're feeling. They really will. Yeah. We are a nation, you know, and, and dog is man's best friend. So if you lose your best friend, you've really lost something. Yeah, well, you couldn't have put it any better, Bruce. Thank you very much indeed. And all the very best. We'll let you know as soon as we know something, if we do. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you again, Fiona. Pleasure. We're grateful. Thank you. Thank you.